Microsoft has just released the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus, which is the surface for every business portfolio, which gives the versatility, connectivity and security that businesses and educational institutions need to adapt to the changing landscapes. Welcome back guys, Logan the Tech Guy here and in this tech comparison video, I will show you the true differences between the Pro 7 Plus and the Pro 7 by placing them side by side. Before that, if you guys are new to Logan the Tech Guy, then let me give you a brief explanation. Logan the Tech Guy is a YouTube tech channel that talks about tech comparisons which will be in infographic form and sometimes in voiceover. I also do tech reviews and if the time permits me, I will do science and engineering topics too. So yeah, that's it. Do consider subscribing and let's get started. Microsoft says that the latest Surface Pro 7 Plus is their classic ultralight 2-in-1 Surface for business which is faster than ever and keeps you productive with improved all-day battery life. Let's start with the price standpoint. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus starts at $899 while the starting price is below $1000. The high-end model with the Core i7 CPU, 32GB of RAM and 1TB of SSD costs a hefty $2800, while the Microsoft Surface Pro 7, the older version of this, starts under at $605 with the high-end going up to $2023. Well, this is based on Amazon price where you can find the links below. It's an affiliate link where if you purchase from it, I will get some commissions from it which will eventually help Logan the Tag Guy to make better videos in the future. There also will be some promo Amazon links too, so do check it out. And to those who have actually purchased from it, thank you from bottom of my heart. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with a screen size of 12.3 inches. It comes with a pixel sense display with 2736 by 1824 by resolution and it comes with a pixels per inch of 267. The aspect ratio is 3 by 2 and it comes with 10 point multi-touch while the Surface Pro 7 comes exactly with the same display and properties. This literally means there's no difference between the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Pro 7 Plus but users can still get immersive view experience from both the displays. The major upgrade between both of these surfaces is in the processor department where the low-end Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with a dual-core 11th gen Intel Core i3 followed by the quad-core 11th gen Intel Core i5 which comes with the Wi-Fi or the LTE model and the highest end comes with the quad-core 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor which is comes only with Wi-Fi model while the Surface Pro 7 comes in dual-core 10th gen Intel Core i3 followed by the 10th gen Intel Core i5 and the highest variant come with the quad core 10th gen Intel Core i7 processors. In the graphics department, the Surface Pro 7 Plus is equipped with Intel UHD graphics for the i3 variant while the i5 and i7 comes with Intel Iris XC graphics. For the Pro 7 graphics, it is equipped with Intel UHD graphics for the i3 variant while the i5 and i7 comes with Intel Iris Plus graphics. You may ask me, Logan the Tech Guy, why is this considered as a major difference in the Surface Pro 7 Plus? Well, the 11th gen Intel processor is known as Tiger Lake processor, while the 10th gen Intel processor are known as Ice Lake. The 11th gen has nearly double the powers of 10th gen processor and also faster than AMD Ryzen 4000 marginally. Intel 11th gen is very fast when it comes to single core performance and for the several apps that are still not optimized for multiple cores. This will have a faster performance in the Surface Pro 7 Plus. In the RAM section, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with two options, one with 8GB of RAM, another one with 16GB of RAM. Both are LPDDR4X RAM for Wi-Fi or LTE model. While for the Wi-Fi only model, it comes with 32GB LPDDR4 RAM. While for the Microsoft Surface Pro 7, it comes with 4GB, 8GB or 16GB LPDDR4 RAM. For the port selections, both devices come with various types of connections. The Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with a single USB-C, a single full-size USB-A, 3.5 headphone jack, a single Surface Connect port, Surface Type cover port, micro SD card reader, and a single Nano SIM LTE. And it is compatible with Surface Dial off-screen interactions too. While the Surface Pro 7 comes with a single USB-C, a single USB-A, 3.5mm headphone jack, a single Surface Connect port, Surface Type cover port, micro SD card reader and compatible with Surface Dial off-screen interaction. 
For the storage options, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with a removable solid state drive with the options starting from 128GB or 256GB for Wi Fi or LTE. The 512 or the 1TB model comes with the Wi Fi model only. Additionally, Microsoft has included a replaceable M.2 SSD, which is accessible in the same manner as on the Surface X. While the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 comes with a solid state drive options of 128, 256, 512 GB or 1 terabytes. When it comes for cameras in the Surface Pros, the camera is most often used for online or virtual applications. For that purpose of usage, the Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with 5 megapixel front facing camera with 1080p full HD video and 8 megapixel rear facing autofocus camera with 1080p full HD video with dual far field studio mics. It comes with Window Hello Face Authentication Camera, which is in the front facing camera, and it comes with 1.8 watt stereo pictures with Dolby Atmos. While the Surface Pro 7 comes exactly with the same camera layout and specifications. The latest Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus comes with Wi-Fi 6 compatible with Bluetooth Wireless 5.0 technology. It also comes with LTE Advanced with removable SIM and eSIM support with Qualcomm Snapdragon X20 LTE modem. The Pro 7 comes with Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 technology. Both the Surface Pro 7 Plus and the Surface Pro 7 comes with the same security features such as the firmware TPM and enterprise grid protection with Windows Hello Face sign-in. Both the Surfaces 2 comes with the same type of sensor with the ambient line sensor, accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer. For the casing, both the surface comes with a signature unibody magnesium design with hidden perimeter venting. The casing colors are platinum, matte black with physical volume and power button. Another major upgrade of the Surface Pro 7 Plus compared to the Surface Pro revolves around the battery life. Surface Pro 7 Plus with the Wi-Fi model able to withstand up to 15 hours of typical usage while the LTE Advance will withstand up to 13.5 hours of typical users. Well, this is based on advertisement by Microsoft, while the Surface Pro 7 will last up to 10.5 hours of typical device usage. If you ask me how does this Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus and Surface Pro 7 perform for online classes or for office usage, I would say that the performance on WebEx, Microsoft Teams, Google Meetings, it does well and it didn't stutter in any of this usage. While for office usage such as Microsoft Excel, Word and also PowerPoint, this Microsoft Surface Pro 7 and 7 Plus did a decent job. For light and low intensity gaming, yes, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 will be a decent device, but for more photorealistic games, the Surface Pro 7 will not cut it. While for more photorealistic games, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus can handle it in medium level settings. Don't go above ultra level settings for both of the devices as it would stutter. Now, before I jump into the pros and the cons of the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus and the Microsoft Surface Pro 7, if you like what you're watching, a sub to this channel will be massively appreciated. Now, let's start with the pros of the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus. It comes with improved processor and graphics, where the CPU and GPU is made of Intel's Tiger Lake's 11th Gen Core processors. While it has a long battery life and it has a SSD upgrade option and it also uses the LTE Advance connection. While the Microsoft Surface Pro 7, it comes with a snappy Intel Ice Lake processor which is still good and it comes with a robust battery life with a sharp display and a well implemented kickstand. Both the cons of the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus and the Microsoft Surface Pro comes similarly. Both the keyboard and the Surface Pro Pen are sold separately and this will add up the cost while buying it together. Before I end this video, this video is made based on my hands-on usage on the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 and the views, pros and cons are made based on my usage on the Surface. There's no compensation and no copy approval provided by the manufacturers to me and there's certainly no any early previews of this video were given to Microsoft. Logan the tag guy works for the viewers, not the brand manufacturers. So that's it about the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 Plus versus Microsoft Surface Pro 7. It all comes down to your preference. Which one will you go for? 
both of these devices are versatile and boast an upper hand on their own. If you have any thoughts or constructive criticism, do let me know in the comments below. And if you want to suggest any tech comparisons to be made in this channel, then do let me know in the comments as well. Like this video if you did find this video helpful. And if you want to see more from me, then hit on the subscribe button below and tap on the bell icon. It is always really appreciated. Check out my other comparison videos if you want to see more tech news, then make sure to visit loganthetechguy.com. I'll catch you next time right here. All love and peace out.